It's 7 p.m. in the Valley of the Sun. It's still 100 degrees outside. People are getting home and the ACs are humming. This is when Arizonans need electricity the most. But it's also getting dark outside. Now, is it possible to provide some of this electricity from the sun? With the new Solana generating station near Gila Bend, Arizona, it will be. So let's rewind a bit and see just how this works. How can a solar plant still function when there isn't actually any sunshine? Built and operated by Abangoa Solar to provide APS customers with more renewable energy, Solana is a 280 megawatt solar thermal plant, one of the largest of its kind in the whole world. But this plant does not work like the typical solar panel. Solana has three square miles of mirrors that focus the sun's heat onto tubes of fluid. Once this heat is captured and sent to the middle of the plant, the rest of the process might actually sound pretty familiar. If you think about a conventional like a natural gas plant, it uses natural gas to create heat and then uh, create electricity from a turbine. This is very similar in that instead of using natural gas, you're using heat from the sun that's uh, created from the mirrors at the solar field. However, not all this heat is used to make electricity immediately. Some of it is sent to tanks of molten salt, where this heat can actually be stored for later use. This means we are able to uh, keep the heat in uh, thermal storage. We are able to transmit that heat to the uh, steam generator, produce steam, and move the turbines even when the sun is not here. Using this storage, Solana can provide energy for up to six more hours without the sun, delivering power when customers really need it most. So Solana gives us tremendous flexibility because of the storage. Really important because our customers demand that flexibility in their energy consumption. So even though the sun will set, Solana will keep on working, helping to make an even brighter energy future for Arizona.